Some people on the Sun Coast prefer to live in beach houses, but a love for the outdoors and exploring has taken one family into the wild. As it ends, Nadine Young joins us live in the newsroom. Nadine? Yes, that's correct. One family actually lives on 1,400 acres of land in Oscar Share Park. It initially wasn't the plan, but it ended up working out perfectly. And really, can you imagine? This is a perfect place to grow, um, to grow a family. You know, can you imagine um, my, ch my son was actually born in the park. Oscar Share State Park Manager Tony Clements is one with you. nature. It's more than just a job. It's my home. It's what I love. It's what I love to do. Starting as a park ranger, married in the park's pavilion, yeah, exactly. and now lives in the park with his wife yeah, and two exactly. children. They can explore, you know, we've got basically a 1,400 acre backyard. But not everyone can live like the Clements family. The way that the Florida Park Service works is we have a campground. So we need people that are on call 24-7, just in case something was to happen in the campground. You want that security, you want that safety to have someone here. He says his children have grown up without fear of the wild. It's all about mindset and what you've grown up with. You know, um, when, you, when you grew up in a state park, those, that's, your, that's your extended family. You know, all those plants and animals, they're your extended. Your aunts and uncles are those animals. Clements has spent more than half of his life living in a park, and he says he wouldn't trade it for a thing. If I could, if I could track it out, this is exactly what I'd want to do. Once the park or any natural area kind of grows on you and becomes into your heart, you, it's hard to let that go. He says he has the best of both worlds, but his best reward. To see children come in here and have that same sense of one, that sense of wonderment and that, that, oh gee whiz, this is so cool. You know, that, that connection with nature, which I think a lot of families and a lot of kids really don't have anymore. And Clements told me he lives 50 yards away from his office. He can actually see his office from his window. And right now he has no plans of moving out of his home in the park. Now Nadine, this is the kind of stuff you see on the home living shows. Great story.